Let's just start from the beginning. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His was pledged to be married to Joseph. So pledged. Promise. Vow. Word. Word of honor. Commitment. Covenant. An agreement. A guarantee. It's warranted. So she was pledged to be married to Joseph. And somewhere along the lines it said Joseph. It said Jacob was Joseph's father. But before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. So before they even got together, she already had, she's already been with the child, with child through the Holy Spirit. So does that mean that she already had the child with child? Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He didn't want to expose her. He had in mind to divorce her quietly. Now, what if it was more like somebody else was the father of Jesus? In other words, not not his actual birth father, but somebody else. Baby swapped. Somebody else baby swapped. Jesus could have been born by the ruler in heaven, which is a, an actual person. And that person gave his seed and it was something that was planned out. And that seed was supposed to be taken care of by a, a, a an adopted family, because how else could a how else could an actual person get pregnant and they're a virgin? Well, here's one way. In this way here, when you worship the virgin, the virgin is able to give birth to itself. But that's usually only in with reptilians. The species that is able to parthenogenesis. That's one way. Another way is Mary, the mother, was already with the child through the Holy Spirit. So there is a child and the Holy Spirit and the mother. And that was already going on before she was with Joseph, her husband. Because this is how the birth of Jesus came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be with a physical child that had the Holy Spirit. So it's Mary and it's the child that she's already with before they came together. So Joseph had to deal with Mary and her son that she was found to be with the child through the Holy Spirit before they even came together. So I guess Joseph, her husband, because he was a righteous man and did not want to expose her because it wasn't time to the public, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. So he was thinking about that, to divorce her quietly because the child wasn't his. But she was already found to be with the child before she was even with him. So 
Doesn't that mean that he's already a stepfather, knowing that he's a stepfather because there's a physical child that has the Holy Spirit that marries with, like she's with the child? Because that's another way where the Holy Spirit can be birthed through the child. Then this way would be, another way would be the male goes to female. The, the mother goddess does that and then and then she has a baby and then that baby is born of a virgin so the woman's like Mary she's she's Mary in the system there's a Mary and she birthed the child literally from being male to female and that child is known as Jesus on earth literally and that person has a YouTube channel and is playing this out. And so there's going to be another. I always keep in mind, there's a couple different. There's at least two different. People playing the same same person. And they may as well be that same. Because in the end, it doesn't matter. Why? Did, why was David's. Uh, when he was with the Ark of the Covenant. Why is it that that covenant, he went about it the wrong way, but it still ended up being good uh, for the result, like the end result, even if Satan uses anything for negative. In the end, it's used for positive. So when David was, I don't know the whole story, I just heard Skip talking about it, and it sounded like a pretty good story. He went about it the wrong way. In other words, this is the system before Christ comes with the, like the correct interpretation of being able to tie it together. Then this is, this would be the holy place, but it's not the holy of holies. And that's what Christ came. Christ came to distribute the holy of holies. And that's what this whole system is about. That's why there's two armies of Davids. There's the 140, 288, because one group believes believes it in this direction, and the other one believes in that direction. You can see the bug from up here. Clear bug. Let me get rid of it. With the two thieves, one on each end of the cross, Christ being the tree of life, the tree of life. Life is the spark, spark of life. And it distributes a, a dead sheep. Well, actually, it looks alive. Lightning strikes from east to west. But it's mainly about the birth. How, how can a woman get pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Okay, well, here's the Holy Spirit. If you don't believe that this is the holy place or it's the mark of the beast, you don't have to. If I can ever get down to the ground. But this place here is together again and together again is 666. Together again, right here at the holy place. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit is the spark. That's what creates life, that, that semen creates life. So there's the spark of it. But in this system, the testicles get pulled up and everything's up inside of the stomach. That's why in the Bible, it also talks about they'll be lovers of themselves in the holy place. 
And then to imagine that you can get pregnant in a certain way, whether it's inside like that or like that um, statue down there, it's something that is added on to the end. And with, with that very thing, you're able to feed yourself. Self-sufficient. But it's something that comes out and then retracts back in because there's some kind of mechanism or something that does that. But you don't ever have to worry about starving to death because you're, you're, you can take care of yourself. And then there's another race that feeds off of the other one. Literally feeds. Then there's, there's different races that feeds off of me. Like they, they eat what I am giving them. They're eating me, but not really because it's just, it's like a certain type of bread that you give them. They're eating it up. And the other group is literally eating it up because that's, that's, the way it is in that system. And this is a serpent's system. So the different ways of being birthed. I always found it hard to believe, which made me doubt the Bible, that anybody can get birth, uh, can get pregnant by themselves. Never believed it in my life, so it didn't make sense. Then on YouTube, I realized through specifically Jonathan Click, that you actually can turn go from male to female with a surgery, and you can't even tell. Because that woman got pregnant by your child. There's no way that you would think of that. So that's also something that's possible. And also with parthenogenesis the reptilians do it so it's it's a it's like in the dna so as people that look like we're humans maybe we are you're able to birth a baby from yourself because your spark is inside of you and it's something that in a certain channel goes in a certain direction and then then it looks like some kind of mechanism, birthing canal or something inside of the stomach area. So what if the person in heaven, the Lord God, the one that runs everything up there, what if he... Or, or even the deputy. But what if, what if he, before he changed from male to female and went into this direction here, he gave his only begotten son. And that, that son was, it was either birthed by somebody else. Or it was his only, his first one that was birthed from the system. And he gave that up. Or he gave up his son first, had someone else get pregnant, who was Mary. So Mary was the one that he got her pregnant with his kid, God, right, in heaven. And Joseph was pledged to be with Mary. But before they got together, she was already tagging along her son with the Holy Spirit. So as Mary and Jesus, little baby Jesus, who was already born before she uh, went with Joseph, they they met up and Joseph's like, oh, man, <laughs> uh, I got to take care of this kid. Because there was a birth that already took place. 
and it had and it and they never even talked to each other. Imagine that. It's like Jesus and, and mother. The spiritual birth is something that can happen. And also a birthing of the scorpion. This is a birth. Or it's the head of the serpent that's coming out of the bottomless pit. The triangle. Because that's the hand like on the top of it. Like that with the legs open. So when you when it's this type of birth and the, the child is born on earth and the person up in heaven is actually literally the Lord God that runs everything. And he gave his only begotten son, whether it was through this before. When this was outside, his only begotten son he gave up to be taken care of completely by some other family. And he is not to talk to him, but can only talk to him through the Holy Spirit on a platform like YouTube. That's the only way that you can do it. There is no other way of doing that. Back in the day of how we think things were when there was no technology, no electricity, and everybody's just walking around following Jesus in, in uh, slippers or sandals. You know, leaving everything behind. So I have a strong suspicion that that is true. And there is somebody on YouTube that's part of the inside that is that child through this system here, through that. So he's a son of man. He's literally a son of a man, man, woman, female, male, female system together in one host body. So that, that child he he knows that that's who he is. Then there's another child that's a completely spiritual birth only that's being played out as well because one of them is being played out like this. It, it just has to be because God is, you know, the creator of everything. He's the mother, father, creator. I've heard that. Plenty of times. Now I understand why. Because it's true. And I didn't think it was before. That's why I didn't believe in a spiritual birth that got a woman pregnant. That doesn't happen, but it does. Because it can, because of the reptilian race. That I've learned now is true and can happen. And then I learned the spiritual birth is something more of the long, along the lines of spiritual communication. It's birthing something through spirit only because there's no actual calling and communicating and talking directly. It's all through spirit. The final true interpretation, but it has to come true in order for it to be a fulfillment of all the others that came before it. It would have to be a spiritual birth through somebody who is Mary in the, in the system that was already Mary along with Joseph. He was already going to be Joseph and you picked it. Who are you again? Like the cast of the chosen. That's all it is. And people played a role and you got to uh, find out 
well, me, I got to find out who is playing each role so I can get to know you better because you're not telling me who you are. Nobody's really telling me who they are. That's what's been so annoying. I don't know why you guys just can't just straight say who you are. <laughs> well, then there wouldn't be a birth in a spirit. Now, would there? That's why you can't tell me exactly who you are. You can only say you're somebody that you're not to try to get me confused until I finally figure it out. Because if not, there's no spiritual birth in this direction either. If there's an event that takes place, and I predicted it, yeah, I predicted many things before, but if there happens to be some type of an event that takes place, that would mean, however, I figured it out. I'm going to give them credit. Now, I'm not giving them credit as in snitching on them because everybody has to take responsibility for what they're doing. I make predictions because I feel like I know the people that run this entire planet, but there's no way of proving it. The only way of proving it is when an event takes place that I told you that they were going to do anyway, and I met them there. And I, I'm i taking some of the credit because I thought of it, but God is the one that gave me that desire that it's give God the credit or even giving you a desire to want to figure out truth and understand things. So if event if an event like that happens, it's because I was talking in spirit through this island, this island of Patmos. But you can't find it on the map. Like, there's no, look, I don't see YouTube anywhere. There's no YouTube anywhere. You can't find it. YouTube is an app through a another dimension. And when I heard people talk like that before, it's like, come on. But now, no, yeah, it really is. It's like an entire complete dimension that has the ability to birth spirits because you're not really talking to anybody about anything. I'm talking to myself out loud in front of screens and camera holes and ears before I even upload the video. And I'm aware of that 24 seven, 24 seven. I, I can be surveilled and listened to. So why would I hide anything? Others can hide things. And they say, who, who seeth us? They're like this. Who knows what we're doing? Why is there? It's like, who seeth us? Who knows? What was my point? I don't know. I forgot. I was going on a rambling rage, talking about this pitchfork here with the number eight. In Philadelphia, has been shown to me that this city is going to be the city that the Bible is fulfilled in because it'll have a little bit of strength left like the angel of the church of Philadelphia laid out in a literal sense, the second coming, because it's also the second 9-11 coming with the second Twin Towers being the targets, Liberty One and Liberty Two. Twin Towers, pyramids, male and female system combined, two different ways. 
One of them gets pregnant. The other one is has the what I just showed you with the William Penn the clock tower. Twelve noon times up. Nobody ever gave me any inside knowledge. Nobody ever gave me a dime. Nobody ever approached me to say, hey, Robin, you want anything, nothing. So the importance of getting it right means changing people's perspective of what they thought to be true, especially to those who are who have been following me, that it's your job you're assigned to me, and you don't believe that I got the correct interpretation, and we're going to see one way or another with the event. Then. If I had that, uh, that ability to receive some type of recognition so I can point you to God. And God isn't a person, it's a spirit. Because God is birthed into your life. It's a Holy Spirit birth. And then you become little baby Jeebus. You become baby Jeebus. And then what that does is it proves spiritual birth. It proves that the information I got wasn't from any person because nobody literally said anything. But boy, did they tell me everything with what they've showed and with what I've taken. They showed me everything. The only way that that proves itself is where both of them meet that crossing road and it, and it happens. That event is the same event that I thought it would be. You were planning that event out and it happened the same way. That's the only way I can get anybody's attention. Other than that, I'm a false prophet and I'll die a false prophet. Because I know in my heart what I am and what I'm not. And I used to care about people's thoughts. You can't. You can't care about anybody's thoughts. But it doesn't mean you have to be cold hearted either. You have to turn them off. Clean the slate and start all over again. My main problem was caring way too much about what people think. Like, I didn't know this whole world was nothing but gang stalkers. In all likelihood, every single street that I, if I walk down, not in all likelihood, absolutely, if I walk down this street here, I'll get, I'll get some type of acknowledgement. If I make a turn right here, and maybe somebody will be pulling out. It's not everybody that does it. But it's everywhere. Yeah, and if I'm walking on Christian Street, I bet you I won't meet one Christian on that damn street. All Thorn Park. Yeah, a crown of thorns. As you walk through that park, because they're crucifying you, because they're gang stalking you. Even if you don't know, it doesn't matter. They know and they feel good. Satan knows that he's being worshipped at that very moment when he has control of somebody. Bath for all? Yeah. How about Bathsheba? Maybe Bathsheba's there and you can get all your plumbing supplies at that store. Broad Street Home Buying. Broad is the way. Uh, the path that's wide and broad is destruction right here, Broad Street.
somewhere over here. So how was I to know that everybody would be controlled by an app or through their, their ear? How was I supposed to know that? I don't know. But I do. I know that now. And I can only prove that to those of you that control them and those of you that are being controlled by them. So you know it's true. They know it's true. I know it's true. And then there's an audience of people that don't know if it's true or not and maybe don't really care one way or another. But I'm always consciously aware of the different groups of people who are listening to my, uh, even as I'm, I, even as you're listening to me now, before I upload this video. So it's about the app. There's one thing that Satan knows how to do. And that is make sure that people do not sit still. He wants to make sure that you do not be still. So the one thing that I know how to do is be still. And know that I am Adam ben David, Prince of Judah. So who said that to me? Is that Jonathan Click 4321 or is that Stephen James? Because it sounds like Stephen James, but this is Click's famous number. It's almost like he wrote that. Being taken over at the age of 62. I think that, so that would be like a year and a half, right? That would be a year and a half. That would be around my seventh year of YouTube. So being still, Satan has a way of making sure that you're not still because he can tempt you with so many goodies. And I mean, you will live happily ever after. Until it comes to an end and then that's the end of it. When you create an app, that something controls you and gets you to go do things. When you're controlled by that app, he's just making sure that you're not staying still. He doesn't want you to stay still. People that can stay still are people that can focus and, and meditate on what they're thinking about and not let other things flow into your brain and take control of you. In those days, Caesar August, Augustus issued a decree that a census would be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while uh, Quirinius, Quirinius, I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, Cornelius. Anyway, he was the governor over Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So this sounds like uh, COVID, taking a sense of seeing who, who's going to do this, who's going to do that, who's going to get this. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee, to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house of the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. Hmm, that's a little different. That's a little different than was with child through the Holy Spirit. What is this? Luke 2? Let me look at Luke, Luke 2. KJV. 
to be taxed with Mary in order to register along with Mary, to be registered with her. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. He was to be his betrothed, to be married, who was with child. What? Pregnant or with the child? Who was in engaged to him and was with child, being great with child, who was engaged to him and was pregnant. I don't think the word pregnant was even in the Bible. I don't know. It sounds like a modern, modern term, but could be wrong. And it was so that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. While they were there, what, the register booth? The days were completed. While they were there, the days were completed for her to give birth. So it seems like it happened right then and there. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and she wrapped him in clothes and wrapped him in swaddling clothes. She gave birth to her firstborn son, and she wrapped him snugly in cloth and laid him in a feeding trough because there was no room for them at the lounging place. So where these animals are eating at, she laid him down so they can basically feed off him. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and she wrapped him in clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. In the same region, there were some shepherds staying out in the fields and keeping watch over their flock by night. So this is surveillance, like, uh, you know, the surveillance team. How else can you watch over them by night, at night? And, and when you're being watched and surveilled, it's like they're watching you at night because you don't know it's in the dark. And an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around him, around them. The glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terribly frightened. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, there has been born for you a Savior who is Christ the Lord. So as they went to get taxed in those days that the census was being taken and the inhabitants of the earth, because that was the first one that they were taken, and everyone was on his way to register for the census, each to his own city. That's when Joseph went up from Galilee, from Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house of the family of David in order to register along with Mary, who was engaged to him, or already engaged to him to be married and was with child. So the stepfather was already the stepfather before the birth. And it happened, what, at the tax booth on that very day? Because while they were there, at that place to get registered, the days were completed for her to give birth. So she gave birth to her firstborn son. Now imagine if Mary was male, female, and she she gave her she got pregnant, and that was her actual son through the Holy Spirit, which is true because the holy place, Holy Spirit gave birth to Mary in that system to a son who is Jesus. That it, that's who he is. And uh, this is his second coming because I believe the first coming was the first 9-11. And whoever created that first 9-11 may have been worshipped as Jesus since then because he might have predicted it to the people. 
And they seem to have like, oh my God, Jesus. So that would be the literal manifestation on earth. And Mary would be basically like the queen of heaven. Because it would be somebody that is birthing Jesus Christ, the child that's going to play Jesus Christ no matter what. Doesn't necessarily mean that he'll become Jesus Christ, but he may in the end turn to Jesus Christ and become one with the Father. Because there was no room for them in the end. And then the Son basically becomes like the Father. So it's it's kind of like the Father. The mother even looks at the son as, as like a, a father as well. So that angel appeared to him. Glory to God in the highest and on each on, on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. Oh, oh wait. For today, the city of David, there has been born to you a Savior who is, who is the Christ, who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. What if they took that seriously? And they're like, what? Jesus, what are you doing lying? Huh? What do you mean? Why are you wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger? I mean, uh, why are you lying? Because don't you know when I was born that you had to look for the sign? I'm that baby that was wrapped in clothes and I'm lying, you know, in a manger. I'm lying to everybody in that manger. So what if people took that serious? And that Jesus is the one being played out. But at some point, you got to stop lying. You need to be 100% no lying. And suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels had gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds began saying to one another, Let us go straight to Bethlehem then and see this thing that has happened with the Lord happened which the Lord has made known to us. So they came in a hurry and found their way to Mary and Joseph and the baby as he lay in the manger. So the babe lying in the manger, a feeding trough. Is YouTube not like a feeding trough, a manger, feeding the animals, the wild beast? Of their field. Two will be in the field. One will be left. The other one's going to be taken. Prisoner by Christ. Will be taken. The other one's going to be left. And all who heard it wondered. At, at the things which were told them. By the shepherds. But Mary treasured all these things. Pondering them in her heart. The shepherds went back. Glorifying and praising God. For all that they have heard and seen just as had been told them. Jesus presented the temple. And when eight days had passed before his circumcision, his name was called Jesus. And the name given by the angel before he was conceived in a womb. We're in a womb, this earth. And when the days for their purification, according to the law of Moses, were completed. They brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. So does everybody think that this is an actual baby just born and they're taking him up like this? Of course you do, because that's exactly what I believe my entire life too. As it is written in the law of the Lord, because I'm pretty sure he can walk himself to the, to the, uh, you know, over there to be presented. They are the ones that brought him up. So they started talking about him. They're the ones that brought him up. They brought him to Jerusalem. 
to present him to the Lord. So the Lord, in this system, the Lord God, these people brought brought Jesus up to the to the Lord God and presented him to, to him. Who did? Well, before his service, his name was called Jesus. Name is given by him, it's conceived. When the days of their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up. Who's they? They brought him up, required by Joseph and Mary, took him. What does the King James only say? They brought him to Jerusalem. Why do they assume that it's Mary and Joseph? As is written in the law, of the Lord, every firstborn male that opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And to offer sacrifice according to what was said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. So pair, two. As a sacrifice or two young pigeons. Prophecy of Simon. There was a man in Jerusalem, whose name was Simon, and this man was righteous and devout, looking for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Because it was revealed in the, by the Holy Spirit because he's seen the Lord Christ. And he came in the spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child, Jesus, to carry out for him the custom of the law, when he came by the spirit in the temple, and when the parents brought in the child, Jesus, they brought him in to do for him after the custom of the law. Then they took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, and he took him into his arms. So he took him up, Simon, it says, Simon took him up and blessed God and said, now, Lord, you are releasing your bond servant. Servant, depart in peace according to your word. So this looks like a he's freed. Depart in peace. Now, master, you can dismiss your slave in peace as you promised. My eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all the people, a light of revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. And his fathers and mother were amazed at the things which were being said about him. I mean, that's pretty amazing to say something about a child that was just born that hasn't even done anything yet. But that's what you do. You give credit to something that doesn't exist. Give credit to the lie. And Simon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is appointed for the fall and rise of many in Israel and for a sign to be opposed. Well, that's because he's seen them. So when you're looking at this more realistically like I am, it's not actually a child. It's just someone that's birthed that has the Holy Spirit in them. And Simon seen what he was already doing for the fall and the rise of many. Not that it's a baby, a helpless baby just lying on its back, like, uh, can't do anything. Simon seen that he foreseen that he was fit for the fall and rise of many in Israel and for a sign to be opposed, to be spoken against. And a a sword will pierce even your own soul to the end that that thoughts 
to the end that thoughts from many hearts may be revealed. That the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Prophecy of Anna. Anna. There was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years and had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage. That kind of sounds like Mary and Joseph. After seven years of, like the, the Mary and Joseph on YouTube, seven years after seven of being married on YouTube. And then as a widow to the age of 84, she never left the temple, serving night and day with fasting and prayers. And that very moment, you know, the YouTube temple, YouTube Temple University in Philadelphia. At that very moment, she came up. I don't think I ever read this in my entire life. Because none of it sounds familiar. And at that very moment, she came up and began giving thanks to God and continued to speak of him to all those who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. The return to Nazareth. When they had performed everything according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own city of Nazareth. The child continued to grow and become strong, increasing in wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Boy, Jesus at the temple. Now, his parents went to Jerusalem every year after the feast, the Passover. And when he became 12, they went up there according to the custom of the feast. So when I look at the YouTube platform, YouTube was created on February 14, 2005. Oh yeah, that's right. And their first video was uploaded, I think in April, something. So February, because in this system, I believe this is being played out. So after 12 years, Basically, some somewhere in 2017, this baby Jeebus here would be 12 years old from the time that YouTube was birthed. So this system here, now 12 years could also be 12 months. It could just be the number 12. When I go back to my YouTube career, I started with a video at one minute and one and 11 seconds. Not intentional, just what it is, Bowie. So I came in with a bow and I named my channel Robin's Hood. April 2nd, 2017. So from the time that YouTube started their first video, the very first video was uploaded April 23rd, 2005. Can you guess what happens next? Well, let Jonathan Clegg tell you. At some point, the beast is going to be unleashed, and it's going to be like a birthing, okay? So I want to show you a couple of 11s. Here's an 11. There's an 11. Here's an 11. And there's a big 11. Yeah. When I was, when I made my first video, from the time that YouTube made their first video, April 2nd, 2017. April 2nd, 2017. One minute and 11 seconds five years ago, the very first upload. From their first upload to my first upload is 11 years, 11 months, and 11 days. It took me 4,363 days from the time that this app was bitten from, which is almost 12 years, another 29 more days, 
almost 144 months, I decided to start not knowing what the hell I'm doing. But now I know. This was done, man, is it 2011, originally, I appreciate this channel, Warrior for Christ, because they upload Clex videos all the time, all day long, like a lot of the older ones. This one was the Hoover Dam that got exploded right here, the birthing part, because that's what it is, it's the birth pains right there. So, I had one birth, it was on this day right here, and it just happened to be 11, 11, 11 later, 62 and 3 weeks, 62 and 3 weeks. And Jonathan Clegg is talking about this being a birthing canal. It's, I want to show you something else. It's the female reproductive system. Look at it. The ovaries going here. And on the other side, it goes down to the uterus. And there's the birth canal. That was the scene at the Hoover Dam yesterday. Officials saying a transformer caught Why fire 20th. and sent clouds of black smoke into the air. They say the flames were put out after about 30 minutes and the fire didn't affect the dam generating power for the surrounding grid. When YouTube was created, the one thing that co-founder uh, co Jold Karim, with username Jold, entitled Me at the Zoo, can you guess what happens next? With that being the beginning, July 7th. the birth pains are starting, however long they last for. Birth pains are starting before it starts, before the Hoover Dam did explode on July 20th, 2022. Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam is over on the west side as well, ain't it? Hoover Dam. 2022. Can you guess what happens next? Sort of. I mean, the Hoover Dam, July 20th, 2022. July 8th, 2022. 12 days beforehand. Lightning will strike from east. Last night, outside the White House, Justin Michaels from our partners at the Weather Channel. Justin Michaels. <laughs> oh, man, August 5th, 2022, lightning struck. I don't have a script and I don't read. Storm turned deadly last night outside the White House. Justin Michaels from our partners, the Weather Channel. Report. Who else do we have coming in here? So stick around, Robin. We're going to bring everybody in here after. I just want to give everybody a shot here. Um, so just. Justin Michael. Justin Michael, are you ready? Howdy, brother. I know your face. I've hey, Derek. You. How What's you up? doing, man? How are you doing? Man, look at that, Justin Michael. I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, I didn't even see this one. That's awesome. Last night, outside the White House, Justin Michaels from our partners at the Weather Channel report. <laughs> Anyway. The lightning bolt split the sky, striking four people in Lafayette Park just... Wow, Justin Michael. They're putting you as, like, Satan falling from heaven. 
walked across from the White House. Today, we learn the names of two of the three people who died, 76-year-old James Mueller and 75-year-old Donna Mueller, both from Wisconsin. One other person is in the hospital. They all were struck near a tree during the storm. All of The lightning strike kills at least three near the White House on August 5th, 2022. I mean, I'm just talking about what I think is next, coming up, et cetera, et cetera. Lightning will strike from the east. So now you, when I'm talking about the Georgia Guidestones, that was the first strike. This strike was the first east coast. Plenty of lightning strikes everywhere. But it's about what are they putting on TV is what's important. Lightning striking near the White House, Justin Michael is reporting, and it's about lightning falling from heaven. Justin Michaels from our partners at the Weather Channel report. The lightning bolt split the sky, striking four people in Lafayette Park just across from the White House. Yeah, I mean, that's coming up. But I think it's, then again, no later than this may start. I think this is what starts the boatload is when that takes place first. So congratulations, Justin Michael. You are officially pronounced lightning falling from heaven on the White House as a lightning strike. Hey, I told him you'd be there. Did I not say lightning was going to strike? Golden Gate Bridge, Pyramid Tunnel. Robert, this is biblically incorrect. First of all, God's wrath and punishment was poured out on Jesus. Second, we don't live in a theocracy like ancient Israel, so therefore the same if that doesn't apply, it's up to the inv individual. Third, judgment for the unbeliever resides in hell. Trust me, that's bad enough. Finally, the judgments during the end times is very specific in the book of Revelation. And you are reading into every twist and turn of a sinful nation. Yeah, but I told you Hoover Dam's coming up next, right? Robin's Hood doesn't care for the word, so he twists it to a tease. Dude, what? Don't even get involved with him. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. You said fallen rocks also. The spirit poured upon all flesh. Did I say fallen rocks? You said fallen rocks also. Now maybe I did in that video. The needle in Seattle's next. That may be a target too. I tried watching your video and there's no sound. This was a terrorist attack. I agree with you. That would be Georgia, George Washington. He's the cornerstone. Ah, that's a good point, Kim. Thanks, Kim Waxman, because George Washington is the cornerstone, and he's the headquarters of YouTube. That's exactly what I was thinking. The giant owl, that's a high place in the West. So the Hoover Dam, what's, what is it on the West side? Coast first and then West Coast. Because the, the Hoover Dam is over on the West side as well, ain't it? The Hoover Dam. What will be destroyed next? Well, it wasn't technically destroyed. It was just a strike. Can you guess what happens next? That's what the whole YouTube platform is for. YouTube. Can you guess what's going to happen next? YouTube was sold one year after its creation for $1.65 billion. Wow. I didn't know that, but now I do. 
Why would anybody listen to me? I'm just one of 23 million other channels. There's like 5 billion videos that need to be watched every day. Why would anybody watch mine and pay attention to it? This has become quite the resource for anyone trying to learn anything, but especially filmmakers. Good. What do you think of all of this? Eric's a filmmaker, according to what's on record. He's a senior vice president of Paramount Pictures. Pretty big deal, huh? You joined exactly nine months after I joined. It was almost like a birthing or something. December 31st, 2017. April 2nd, 2017. Eight months and 30 days, which is exactly nine months. From birth to birth. And then from that time, if you go evening, morning, depending on well, no, actually, it was the 13th, because that was the last video that Jonathan Kleck made, and it went into the 14th. And then after 1,260 days from the time that Derek started, Jonathan Kleck, the channel, got beheaded. Another 144 in the number. Best filmmaking YouTube channels. From screenwriting to post-production, YouTube literally has it all. They even have the birth of Jesus in here. We've curated a list of some of our top picks for each filmmaker's category, including storytelling, telling video, production, screenwriting, post-production. Up next, best YouTube channels. So let me bring on Justin. I know Justin, so I will bring Justin on. You just say that didn't reflect the father. All I know is this. Yes, we're. We didn't earn it, but we need to repent. Jezebel. So we can forgive ourselves. The father judges no man. Is here. He's reserved that for the son. Here. That's you. It's not a and guy that's going to show up on a cloud and persecute Judas you. Is here. That does not reflect the father. So if that's true. So let me bring on Justin. I know Justin. So I will bring Justin on. Hey. Then I'll be seeing you soon, buddy. <laughs>